Welcome back everybody. So today, slightly different, we're on Android. Android phones, Android devices, and we're going to turn off a load of settings which will increase your battery life and your data as well, and your data use, and we're going to save all of this. And we're going to go through this, so do follow along. Let me know in the comments your Android device you use. If it's a mobile phone, I'm going to be demonstrating on a Samsung Galaxy Fold 3. So, obviously if you're brand new here, do remember to hit subscribe. We do a lot of stuff streaming, which can work on Android devices. We do a lot of stuff Fire Stick, and we're going to be branching out into tech tips for phones, other devices, tablets, everything, including your streaming. And if you're a regular watcher, hit that share button. So, first things first, get your phone on. I've got mine here. Um, I put this wallpaper on just for you guys and girls. So, what we're going to do, so we're going to settings, click settings. Once in here, we're going to scroll down to Google, okay? Once you get to Google, click it. And in the top corner, you will see the three dots. Click those three dots and usage and diagnostic. In here, you want to make sure this is turned off, okay? This is communication between you to Google, sending information. Okay, so we want that turned off. We don't want it on, we want it turned off. Brilliant. Next up, we will get out of there and we will go to connections. So we will, next up, we will go to connections. So still in your settings, click on connections. Once in connections, you go to more connection settings. Okay, then you want to turn off nearby device scanning. Remember guys, these are my opinions on things which will save your battery life. That is turned off, okay? Thirdly, what's up third? So, back in your settings. Once you're in settings, go to applications or apps. Okay, then three dots again in the top corner. Special access. And in here, install unknown apps, okay? This is allowing apps to install on your behalf. So you want them all turned off. The only one personally I keep it on for is Chrome. Um, so make sure they are all turned off in here. This is stopping apps making a connection to install apps on your behalf, okay? Just leave it on for Chrome or even turn it off for Chrome if you're not planning on installing anything. Get them turned off. If then you do go to install something via Chrome, it will prompt you to turn it back on again. But I would have them all turned off, brilliant. Next up in our settings, we are going to go to location. So it's location services. So under location, you click it. And in here, so you click on location, then in here we click on location services. Once in here, you want to turn off Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning. This is scanning in the background, which is constantly happening, which is looking for new Wi-Fi's, everything like that, new Bluetooth connections, which again will freeze up your, well, use up your battery and your connections. So turn them off. This doesn't mean you can't connect to Wi-Fi, it just means it's not scanning without you asking it to. I like to turn that off. Again, personal opinion, but it will help save your battery life. And finally, a real key one for me is one called privacy. So in your settings again, while in your settings, go to privacy, and in here, there is one called send diagnostic data. Okay, this is sending data to your apps or to Android and to Google, diagnostic data about your phone and how it's working. All of those things are being sent over. Again, that will use data, that will use your internet, and that will send to them, and anything like this will use battery. So, Samsung would like to help improve our products and services. Your phone includes diagnostic software that may, with your consent, la di da di da di da di da Turn that off. Thank you very much. We're not interested on that. So hopefully that was useful for you. What you may have noticed, we went fairly quick there. So re-watch through if there's anything you weren't too sure about or anything you weren't comfortable with. We're going to be doing a few more of these. There'll be some settings you can turn on to make your phone better or your tablet better or even your Android box better. There'll be some you can turn on. So do subscribe to stay up to date. There's going to be more we're going to turn off going forward. Let me know of any in the comments you want to know about or any good ones you know about to turn off. If you would like these in a quicker form, we are available on our TikTok and our other YouTube channel as well, Doc Squiffy Shorts. But that is it for today. Quickly before you leave, if you can, a quick word from one of our partners. 
IP Vanish sponsors a lot of our videos, so linked underneath is a link to IP Vanish. IP Vanish VPN is a great one for keeping you safe online. Um, it's a great one for your online safety, your internet privacy, stops your internet service provider, blocking websites, everything like that. It can be put on your mobile phone. Um, it's great for secure access to public Wi-Fi's, online anonymity, uh, unmetered connections and advanced encryption, all for you, all on one place. This is $3.99 a month if you're interested. Again, it's optional. Um, we don't have any partnerships here. We don't have any memberships. We don't take donations. But if you are after a VPN, we would appreciate if you use one of our affiliated links directly underneath. You get a VPN. We get a little bit of affiliation and we're all happy. Brilliant. So, obviously, this is a slightly new video. Do let me know how it went in the comments for you. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. Remember to hit that thumbs up. Drop me the comment of which phone you're using. And, of course, hit that subscribe button. And we will see you soon.